So if you want to know anything about the angry Asian gamer that's me, and I've been having so much fun doing it, but it's also been very hard for me too, because playing such an angry character just uses strong language and anger to disturb you a video game or even a movie or a game console here and there. But in reality, the only thing I have is just fun, love, and peace for everybody. Now, the only reason why I created this channel and this character is, you know, sometimes you may have a bad day, a shitty day, or just not a great day. It happens to me a lot. <laughs> well, when that stuff happens to me, you know what I do? I put on YouTube, I watch an episode of ABGN, and a bottle of root beer, or a cup of tea, or coffee. That, that gets me back into the spirit. Now, now the, the only thing that makes me happy, the thing that makes me happy is, it's so like, yeah, you yeah, had a shitty day, so I only create this character, you know, so I could make you laugh. You can giggle. My character, I, I'm only ha I'm only happy if I can make you laugh, or you know, you had trouble. If I can make you laugh, that makes me happy. Although, you know, as I thought about it. It's been 21 years since I became a gamer. Well, at maybe in the May 1997, all this thing, all the things like the original PlayStation and Nintendo 64, I didn't buy. It was all Christmas gifts and, um, and all the games. They were Christmas gifts also. Now, my very first video game, I'll tell you a funny story. Okay, so it's not my, it's not my job to rate a game, that's the ESRB's job. Now, going back when Toys R Us was around, this is maybe, let's go back, this is when I was only 5.6. Now, Back then, the only gift cards I got was Stitcher Toys for because when you're, uh, wait, five, going to five to ten, Toys for was your, always your go-to. When you reach the teenager time, maybe Best Buy is your go-to, but I still have my very first video game I bought. It's true. my very first video game I bought by myself. Now, I'll tell you, here's the funny part. Now, here's the ESRB, like E, E, C, E, E, T, M, plus, T, M, and A. Now, hold on, okay. Now, back, Fifteen years ago, maybe fifteen years. E ten plus didn't exist. I think, yeah. Now, here's your M, but there's something missing here. There's no seventeen plus. Do you Turn around, there's your 17 plus. Now, imagine this. Imagine if the ESRB, you know, never put in the 17 plus in the front. Because you always have to put in the front and back. Now imagine this. Imagine if I had a kid. It was his birthday and he was turning seven or something like that, right? Now, 
imagine this. If the ESRB didn't put 17 plus on each side, imagine you walking in to Best Buy or something like that, grabbing this game, and the 17 plus was not on there. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so I say, you know, yeah, happy birthday. Like, thanks, Dad. It's like, can they pop in? He's like, Dad, yeah? He's like, what's this? What's what? What's with the language, buddy? Why is there a strip club? Yeah. Imagine at the end. Because there's even parents pick up a game for a kid. They don't look in both sides of the No. When a parent picks up a video game for the kid, they usually uh, always look at the cover. See if it's, you know, cover, you know, cover, say, oh, it's a cool cover. My kid might like it. If, you're, if a parent is a gamer, like, my, my mom and dad are not gamers. That was, they're not the generation. But, if your parent is a gamer, they know. They know you always have to look in the back. That's a lot. Seven. Seven reasons why. Now, I looked up all A rated games, adults only. He said it's considered A. So then, I'm gonna. I just don't get it. Not one little bit. Ah. Ah. Now, another thing. It's not important. Oh. There we go. That's another thing. I wonder. How many episodes could I make until the end of this year? Hmm. I made four, I would see. Which is not impressive. I, well, I guess I just started. Let me think. No. There's only one way to find out. Well. If you like my episodes, you know, I hope I do well. And, you know, it's not me that gives myself a... What's the word? It's not... I I see to myself, I'm going to do well. This is... I'm going to do so well. You know what makes me do well? You guys. It's true. I ain't saying that to be nice. I, I'm, I'm telling you the truth. No, I haven't opened this case in a decade. Let's see what it looks like. Ooh. That's dope. Oh, man. This is even more dope. This is more dope. Look at that. Look at that. Yeah, that's awesome. It's like a, it's like a, like a medieval, uh, book or something. Yeah, I, I'm way off. I'm way off what things are called. So, I just hope I'm making decent amount of episodes. And, I know each one gets better and better. You know? See, my character is just, uh, I know it's kind of, kind of strong language and the anger, but that's what entertains people. So, like I said, when I'm having a shitty day or a great day, that's what I did. Sit down. Probably you to watch some ABGN. And a, a bottle of root beer and maybe 
cough your teeth. Oh, what's this drug? Just as good as root beer. I know I got the root beer thing. Like, I don't know how I started liking root beer a lot. Now, imagine a six-year-old playing an M-rated game. Well, here's where it came. Okay, so, I have okay, so I picked up, like, now, this really caught my eye. A fire-breathing dragon and a chick with a sword. Yeah, that's awesome. That's really awesome. So, this is what happened. So, you pick it up and say, you got it, can I get this? I said, sure. I was like, I like it? Like, yeah, I like it. I said, that. I was like, yeah? What's that N stand for? I don't know. You? Nope. That's how I got myself an M for the game at the age of six. Yeah. Um, very, uh, interesting in a strange way. But, I hope you guys wish me luck. Let's see how many I can really make it to the end of this year. Like I said, if you guys get make me feel good. It's not like I like think of something and all of a sudden I like ah oh, I feel better. You guys. So you know, now that it's thought about my character really you don't hear a name. I got to think of a name, my, a name for myself. But usually, your character don't use your actual name. Because, like, say, um, say, Will. It's Will, so my character can't be Will. You have to make up your own name. AVGN, any video game nerd, his real name is James, but he's called AVGN. I got to think of something. What's a good name for a pissed off Asian gamer? I don't know a lot of Asians. I only know one. He's good. He's good. But hmm. Let me think. Nah. I got maybe Jason. That'd be a good one. Yeah, maybe Jason. So I'll have to use the word or the name Jason in my next episode. I'll make sure my next episode's really good. All right. So, that's mostly all I have. I guess so. So, in reality, this is what I'm really like. Alright. And I'll see you on episode, uh, five, I think? Yeah, five. This is, I guess it is just an introduction episode. Alright. I'll see you in episode five.